Welcome to Indie Resources fifth video on C Sharp. This is Halls of Valhalla. Um, as you see with the, from the last video, we um, we got the player attack to work. It actually takes um, hit points off the kobold. Of course, the kobold won't die. We didn't set up any of that stuff. And if you look, it just kind of looks ugly right now the way we set this up. So let's let's fix that real quick. Um, let's go ahead and close out. First thing I noticed, and it's good that it messed up because if you notice here, I got that way I could show you this. If you notice, I got console dot right line. If we just change that to console dot right, um, that should fix where the lines are breaking and give it all one line. And let's go ahead and test that just to be sure. And we need to fix that too. Um, okay, see how it's 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 changed, um, but it only says for two, so let's fix that too. And you notice. This is uh, okay. Let's just fix that first, and then we'll go back to the other four. Um, let's see where we're at. And here's our console dot right line. We need to fix that. Let's make sure we fixed them all. There we go. Points of damage. And then it'll press any key. We don't want to do press any key to attack again. Let's just keep this to continue. Ah. Okay. So it's going to read key. When we hit the key, it's going to go to the print title show status. So let's go to print title show status. And here's where we want, here's where I want to add console dot clear. And that way it clears it and kind of gets rid of all that old stuff. Um, now we're going to read key, but what I want to do here is I want to do another console. Dot um, right, and I want to put press a key to attack. Now this isn't going to be a final. This is just for kind of to start off because of course the kobold needs to attack. But I'm, I'm kind of thinking what we'll do is once the player attacks instead of it just um, coming back here it's automatically going to go to the kobold side and have them attack. So for now let's just do press any key to attack and when they press a key. Now the thing I want to do to kind of clean this up a little bit is I want to I'm going to leave the rest of them right lines because I didn't put any um, um, I didn't put any uh, line breaks in there. So let's see how that looks. I'll tell you what, we should probably put a new line right here. So let's see how this looks. Whoops, that's me uploading the last video. Um, I'm so used to uh, Coding web games that I often go back to Google to, to test it. This is let's fix this real quick. Hello, Indie Resource Community, um, which is here. Let's do welcome to Cobold. Let's do let's call it Kill a Cobold. Maybe one day that'll be famous. Uh, maybe EA will pick it up. Let's uh, let's hit play. Welcome to Kill a Kobold. Press key. Okay, you got your player. You got all that. You got your Kobold. Now press key to attack. Player swings and hits for two points of damage. Press any key continue, and it's going to go back. And you now you notice he did two damage, and it actually stopped. So let's figure out why it stopped. Um, it was in the show status for a second time. We got this read key, but then it. Um, it doesn't go anywhere after read key, it just kind of stops. And the reason why is if you go to program, you'll notice it only does swing once after program. So we need to create a loop that's going to keep this going. So I'm going to leave swing there, but here I'm going to put if cobalt dot hit points is greater than zero and player dot hit points is greater than zero then that means they're both alive then we want to go back to um, I don't know if I want to create a whole nother 
No, it's not. Let's just let the player go first this time. For each time. Player dot swing. Because what we're going to do is inside of swing, we're going to let the kobold attack. So we're going to call it from there. So I'll kind of show you what I'm going to do. Now, if it isn't, then we want to... Then I'm just going to let it die out for now. And I'll show you exactly where I'm going with that in a minute. But for now, I'm just going to let it die out and the program ends. Um, i tell you what. Let's do this instead. Let's do a console. Dot clear. And let's do a console. Dot um, right. Let's go and do a right line. Um, game over. Oh crap. Come on, work with me here. And then we'll do a console. And I could put press any key to end or whatever, but eh, whatever. We'll we'll not worry about that right now. I think they can kind of figure it out. Okay. So we need to go back to player and go back to the swing method. Because that's what's being called. And <clears throat> there's actually a couple ways that I, that we could do this also, but I think what I want to do is instead is I want to make sure that we didn't kill the kobold here as well. Because we, we want a couple fail safes here. So let's do because if the player's going first and we kill the kobold, then there's no reason that the kobold should even attack us. So let's do if kobold dot hit points is less than one. And you know what? I can't believe I um Yeah, that's right. I just want okay, we're good. Is less than one, which means it would have to be zero or less than we want to say you've killed the cobalt. So we want to do a console dot and we're gonna do a right line so it goes on its own line. Um Nah, that's kind of stupid. Let's do you killed me. You have slain the kobold. Let's nah, let's say killed. Let's fit with the title. You've killed the kobold. I tell you what, I want to create a couple new lines here because of what's going to be up top. Just kind of space it out. Console dot right line you win and then we want to do a console whoops dot read key and finish it out and if you want to put press any key to continue or whatever just create a new console dot right line press any key I just don't really want to do it I don't really like it and people know to hit their button um, so we're going to do you win and the game's going to end pretty much. So I've got that. That should be good. And let's go ahead and just test that real quick just to be sure everything's working. Welcome to Kill a Cobalt. Press any key to attack. Actually, we can't test this just yet. I guess we can. It is doing the infinite loop infinite loop and he should for one point of damage he's at zero so you've killed the kobold you win and it didn't actually it looped one more time into show status and then game over so you know that could be a final hey this is how this is how many hit points you had left but I don't know how much I like that and the reason why it did that was because of this right here so let's take this instead and we're gonna turn this into a ill statement and that's going to make it to where it only reads if the kobold didn't die. Otherwise, it's just going to end. So, um, I want to do another new line here. Um, I want to do another new line there, just to kind of space things out, make it look better. Okay, so the player's done. Now, we're actually going to get away from this anyway, and we're going to we're actually going to do kobold's attack now. So. So for the kobold to attack, we're going to do just like we did the player, and we're going to make a method called swing, just like the player. So what we want to do is we're, it's going to be static because there's only one type of swing for now, and it's going to be public because we want to be able to access it, and it's not going to return a method, so it's void, and we're going to call it 
swing. So there's our method. It's been created. Now let's cheat a little bit so we're not rewriting all this. And let's just take exactly what we have for the player. And let's see where that's leading up to. I'll tell you what, let me... Yeah, so we want to go everything but that last one right there. It's going to be confusing when I paste this in here because we're going to have to go through and fix a lot of this. But let's just roll with it. Okay, so we're going to clear. And this is where we're going to change cobalt swings and we're gonna we can keep all the variables the same because it's a brand new method and, and it's a new method it's a its own method inside of a class it's not the player so nothing's gonna be reused whatsoever um, the only thing we gotta change is the player dot defense and because it's pulling for its attack it's a pulling attack which is this instantiated attack it's pulling from this method, th these right here, not from anything else, because you notice there's no, and th that's, you couldn't do it here, but that's where you see the keyword this dot something, um, that's where it falls into, it's kind of a saying this, ins this instantiated version of it, is, so we got our defense, let's make sure we got player, um, let's go ahead and change the names of these, and it's going to give us a little bit of issues here, but we'll fix them. Um, just so it doesn't look ugly. Uh, hits for damage looks great. Damage. The only thing we need to do is make the players hit points, and we got to change the players, and we got to do damage. It's, so it's going to use this version of damage, which is in this class, um, for points of damage. Press any key to continue. Uh, make sure player dot hit points looking pretty good there. If player dot hit points is less than one you have been killed. You lose. And we're going to uh, else show status. See, this is where we want to do our show status and actually go back. Otherwise, it's going to come out of here, it's going to fail out, and it's going to go to our game over session. Um, at least, I'm hoping it does. We'll soon find out. But the only thing we got to do now is instead of doing print, title we need to do cobalt dot swing that way it lets him attack so oops what did we do cobalt uh, oh always remember your parentheses play okay welcome to kill a cobalt okay here's your stats so let's attack player swings and hits for one point of damage um it went back to player or did i not change that for two points Okay, what happened here? So this is where you can kind of go through the program and say, okay, we know the player, we know it showed the stats, and we know the player, and it said player swings, and it comes on down here, and... Silly me, I forgot, um, the, when the kobold swings and hits, that's great, but what happens when he misses? That's where the problem is. We forgot to put anything that he misses, or the player either, even though the player hasn't missed yet. So we need to do, um, console dot right line oops misses because it already has end up there or and and it's asking um, the player swings and what happens so then we do a console there is one problem I think we're gonna run to run into is because I never created a loop for this game like a normal game loop that'll loop and then if something if when the game ends it stops the loop um, and that could throw, give us a little bit of error, error, but I think we can get through it. I think we can make it work regardless. Um, and so when we get here, what it's going to do is it's going to return back to whatever originally called this. And if, if you remember, it, all, there's a, two different ways this thing gets called. So even if it's going to, I'm going to go ahead and put a return in here so it does go ahead and return. Um, and we've got a return here. To return it. If you don't have that, go ahead and put it in there. Um, so let's copy this. And a return basically just says um, return back to whatever called and stop running this current uh, method that we're running. I still think this isn't going to work because what it's doing, it all depends on 
the return method. It all depends on where it was, or the actual calling method. So I'm going to go ahead and test it, but I'm quite sure it's not going to work. And this is this is actually a very good example of how this how this works. It's always good to have a game loop running. Um, that way you can stop the game loop. And right now we're kind of we're kind of tied into this thing a couple steps deep, so we may have to follow it back out. But welcome to Kill a Kobold. Um, I'm going to attack. Player swings and hits for two points of damage. Kobold swings and misses. I'm not sure why the Kobold seems to be missing all the time, but <clears throat> somehow we got returned and we weren't even dead yet. What happened? Um, so we have print title show status. Under our show status, it comes in, and if everybody's above, then it goes back to player swing. Maybe I just missed it. Um, let's try one more time. Let's just kill two, one. Kobold swings and misses. Ah. That's what I forgot to do. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> Kobold should not return. Kobold should do... Um, it should actually do player dot... Or, no, we want to go to the status, show status. So let's do print title dot show status. Now it'll come back. Now it should work. Um, we need to go to the player and remove this return. This is actually a return we do not need. So I think we're good. Well, almost anyway. So I hit it, miss. Hit it again, it misses. Three, there's two, and it's got one more hit point. We killed it. We win. But if you notice, it goes right back to player dot swing, and then it fails out. <clears throat> and I believe the re reason why that is is because what initially called it this print title is some reason something in here is calling it again and I'm not going to worry about it during this video too much you see what we have so far um, and what you can do actually to, to stop that from happening is here's a here's a real good way to fix that just right now and and, I'm, and the reason why I want to just fix it right now so you have a complete complete uh, finish to this but we will fix this later by putting in a game loop I just didn't want to get into the game loop yet and confuse anybody too much and so we're going to put in an extra step and we will remove this later if player and I tell you what I'm going to copy it straight from print title but I'm going to reverse it <clears throat> if less than one and or you know what here's our other problem or no 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 this isn't a problem this is actually fine or less than one that way we can stop it already to where it will not come back in this. We can return. <clears throat> in other words, when it goes to swing, if if our hit points are already lower, less than one, it'll just return us back out. So let's test this. Welcome to Killer Cobalt. Blah blah blah. Two points. We haven't got three points yet, nor has the Cobalt ever hit us yet. So maybe I typed something in wrong, and we can check that on the next video. Okay, right after this, killed it. Bam, works now. And just to do a real quick check while we're here, let's go to Kobold. Let's do um, one through six. Final attack roll is final roll. plus attack, which is the Kobold attack. Which it even tells you right there in Telesense Kobold attack. Um, hmm. Maybe it's just rolling really low. I'm not sure. We'll do some checks on the next one to see what we're actually rolling to make sure that everything's rolling right. But for now, you see how it's working now and how it's coming in together. And we, I just wanted to build a simple little game um, just because this teaches a lot. This this really shows the fundamentals behind it before we get into anything too much more complicated. <clears throat>